This is a helmet snail. This is one of the largest snails you will find in the ocean in the Philippines. Admittedly, the diver is a little bit small because of a clever camera angle. Nevertheless, these grow to the size of a medicine ball and big ones weigh several kilos. I see them frequently when I scuba dive in the muck dive sites in Darwin on Negros Island in the Philippines. Here, a hard urchin escapes from under the sand to get away from this helmet snail. You can see the urchin come out now. Now, I think these helmet snails are the apex predators of a very peculiar food web in the soft bottom habitats. Essentially, these hard urchins, and there's another one which the snail just ate, these hard urchins feed on the tiny organisms between the sand grains and between and from detritus, and then the helmet snail feeds on them. So this is a very short uh, food web, but a food web with a lot of substance, since these snails are numerous and large. What's also very interesting is that these helmet snails act as mini reefs. Here you can see a juvenile damselfish, which is grateful for every piece of structure in these otherwise featureless sandy areas. And here you can see the siphon of the helmet snail, just barely sticking out of the sand. So during the day they're dug in partially, and here is a cardinal fish, also using this large snail as essentially a tiny mobile reef. So again, every piece of structure these fish are happy about, because otherwise there's no place to hide in these otherwise featureless sandy areas. And here we have a tiny juvenile lionfish, which is also hiding on the, the shell of this helmet snail. So this is a super interesting animal. I actually interviewed an expert, a good friend of mine, uh, an expert about this helmet snail a while ago. And um, please don't miss that video. And in addition, there are a couple of books which I either published or which are about to be published. The first one is called uh, Your Brain on Diving, which is about hyperbaric physiology and how it affects your brain. The second one is uh, The Lives of Gobies, about this very curious group of tiny marine and freshwater fishes. And the third one is 25 Future Dives about environmental problems in the ocean. See you soon.